Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is Math Standard 3.2a in Texas and it is an item from the 2019 star test number 4. So if you haven't already, go ahead and take a moment, pause the video, see if you can answer this problem, then unpause it and we will look at the correct answer together. All right, so we need to find the expanded form, and we have uh, 90,000 plus 200 plus 40 plus 1. So we have the expanded form. What we need is the standard form. And so remember that the expanded form is when you have the number showing as a sum of each value. So we've got 90,000, and then 200, and then 40, and then plus 1. So if we really wanted to, uh, an old fashion way, kind of a long way to do this, but this is an addition problem. So if we've really wanted to, uh, one of the slow ways would be just to line this up. Now it is kind of messy and you have to make sure you write everything correctly. Because if anything gets squished, if your zeros are too skinny and if you don't put anything in a line, well then you're going to have problems. But if you can keep everything in a line, well these, these problems are pretty easy because you can just treat them as an addition problem. So we've got 1, that's a 4, that's a 2, that's a 0, and that's a 9. So the answer is 90,241. But that's the long way. Let's see if there's a shorter way to solve this problem. So one thing that we need to do is we need to realize that we're dealing with place value here. And we don't really need any of these zeros. So we just need the place values. And so what I'm going to see is I'm going to find the largest value. And in this case, it's this one right here. There's five digits. So I'm just going to draw one, two, three, four, five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just count over spaces. And I'm going to put the digit in the correct spot. So if I start from this 90,000 here, start from the right. If I count over one, two, three, four, five. Well, if I could start over from my places here and count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's where that 9 goes. So that one's done. If I start at the 0 here and count over 1, 2, 3, 3 spots over is the 2. So 1, 2, 3 spots over is the 2. 1, 2 spots over is the 4. And then in the very first spot is that 1. And so what we have here is almost a number. We have a blank. That's the trick in this problem. So we're going to put a zero. And the reason we need to put a comma here is because we are changing periods. Sometimes we'll call them periods, sometimes we'll call them families. But the ones family or the ones period are the first three digits put together, the ones, tens, hundreds. And then the second period or the second family are the one thousands. This nine is in the ten thousands. That's why it's worth ninety thousand. So that's why we have that comma there, because you do groups of three. And then you put a comma. Let's look at the incorrect answers and see why they got them incorrect. So this nine right here, this, and this is H, so we'll go ahead and mark that here. Let's, let's line up our F, and we'll see what the problem is. We see 9,241. The 241, obviously, that's correct. Here's our issues. We got confused with this 9. This 9 right here is 9,000, because it's in the 1,000 spot. But it's not 9,000, it's 90,000. So it's missing a whole magnitude of 10. So that's why that's wrong, because this one should be right there. G is 92,041. So at least the 9's in the correct spot. But as you can tell, my issue here is going to be this 2. This 2 is in the 1,000 spot, but really it belongs in the 100 spot, because if this 2 is in the 1,000 spot, this would be 2,000, but it's actually 200. And then finally, J. J just kind of switched the 4 and the 2. If you look at those two right there, they switched the 4 and the 2. It should be a 2 and a 4, and that's how we solve this problem.